Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Thompson versus Pate Thompson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Thompson, you are in court today in hopes of saving your 11-year marriage. Your wife has a newborn, four-month-old, Micah Pate Thompson, who you hope is your baby, but say your doubts are overwhelming. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mrs. Pate Thompson, you hope and pray the results reveal that your husband is Micah's father for the sake of your family and your marriage. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Thompson, tell us about the current status of your relationship. Yeah, the current status of our relationship is, is it's rocky. You know, um, we don't sleep in the same bedroom. We haven't slept in the same bedroom in years. We haven't had sex probably in about seven, eight months. You know, and it's just, you know, she don't like to cook, she don't like to clean, she don't like to work. So it's, 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 it's a lot going on other than, you know, other than Micah. So it's, you know, like I said, every, every marriage is not perfect, but it's just, it's a lot going on. You want this baby to be your biological child, but you truly doubt. I would love for him to. I would love for him to be my son. You know, if he wasn't mine, I don't know if I could raise another man's child. But with everything going on and the connection that me and Micah has together, I can't let another. I can't let another child, especially another black child, grow up without a father. So, Miss Kay Thompson, this has to be difficult. It. It is. It's. it's... <laughs> It's very difficult, you know. I, I want Micah to be his son. I don't want to lose my best friend. We've been together for so long. And, you know, I just don't want to lose him. All right. Well, take me back. I want to understand how this relationship began. Certainly, at some point, you all were happy together. <laughs> yes. Um, we met in college. We had a class together. And he sat behind me, cracking jokes, trying to copy off my test. <laughs> Next thing you know, we were talking and we were together in a relationship. And, and it was good. We were, we were inseparable. You couldn't see him without seeing me. I mean, that just sounds storybook. It does. So, Mr. Thompson, the bottom line is you met and you were very happy together. Yes, ma'am. You decided to get married. She ended up eventually moving in with me and my family. You know, in a short time after, we found out that she was pregnant. We told my mother the news, and um, my mother was like, hey, you guys might as well go ahead and get married. You know, so we were like, you know, okay, you know, so we're trying to figure out a date. So my mother had this idea to get married while everybody was already at the house, because in that same month, I had a, we had a birthday party for my mother, my niece. It was a ghetto wedding, you're right. It was... <laughs> Uh, it was, it was, it was like very a, ghetto. It was like a hood romantic love story. <laughs> oh! You know what I'm saying? Oh, one of those. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the minister who married us was an ordained minister. Okay. It, but don't nobody but know the minister. Did... It was like a friend of a friend of somebody else's friend, and the lady didn't know us. We didn't know the lady. So like, we was like... before we even got married, she was trying to do a, a quick little a counseling marriage session counseling in the before we even got married. So it was like... So we did like a little 15-minute counseling session in the bedroom. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Counseling in the bedroom. That yeah. doesn't sound right. <laughs> okay, I mean, but, go ahead. It was, it was a lot of stuff going on. It was birthday cakes. It was nachos. It was drinks. It was... I got, we got married. I got married in a jogging suit. You know My maid of honor had, had on a matching jogging suit. I had t had a t-shirt, I had t-shirt, jeans. jeans, and Timberlands <laughs> on. It was just... I was drunk. You know what I'm saying? It was... Yeah, I was... I was, I was kind of toasted. It, it sounds like it was an interesting and entertaining day. Yeah, it wasn't the most ideal situation, but we, we made the best out of what we could do. But absolutely, and that's what it's all about when you're coming together to build a life. Right. So, where did this go wrong? What went wrong was when me and Latoya first start getting into marriage and stuff like that, I had found out she was doing some things that she shouldn't have been doing, text messaging, meeting up with guys and stuff like that. So when I confronted her, she said it wasn't true. So when she said it wasn't true, I found, I found out otherwise. I had a DNA, I had to get a DNA test on my first two, on my first two boys by her. We married, but every time, why are we in a marriage and every time you get pregnant, I gotta get a DNA test? I, I was gonna ask the same question. You know, I, I mean, I don't, I don't understand. What happened in this relationship? 
Honestly, Your Honor, I think when we first got married, we really weren't re ready to be married. You didn't Quite understand yet. the depth of the commitment and the responsibility of marriage. Exactly. Okay. This is why I felt went wrong in, in the marriage. Me and Latoya had Apple opportunities where I came to Latoya and I was like, listen here, this, we not doing, we, you're not doing certain things in the marriage that should be going on. You're not working. If you're not going to work, I need you to cook, clean, you know, have, uh, we need to have sex on the regular, you know, things like that. But was you it know? just on her to fix or was it both of you all? Yeah, but she never, the thing about it is she really don't talk. So she don't tell me my faults. You know, if you tell me my faults, okay, let's communicate, let's work on this. But you never told me my faults. So what you were saying, I'm expressing to you what I need. And then I need you to express to me what you need. Right. She don't, she don't reciprocate it. She don't say nothing to me. So in my eyes, I'm not the perfect dude, but let me know what I'm doing wrong. So where did this go wrong to the point that we are here in paternity court? It went wrong when he decided to leave, Your Honor. Yeah. I left. I did leave. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. When I left, she said she was gonna have. She said she was gonna work on herself. Me and her had ample co While conversations. While he was with somebody else. About her working on herself. She was working on herself because she deleted me off social media. I found out she started adding all these other dudes to her social media page. Because you were you were gone. You were living with somebody else. Were you living with somebody else, Mr. Thompson? Yeah, I was. So why shouldn't she move on? She didn't want to move on. She said she was gonna work on what she needs to work on. Were you all planning to get a divorce? No. Nah. Yes. <laughs> so you're just gonna go move in with somebody else and still think you're gonna be married? She, yeah. when I said yeah. something about a divorce, she didn't want a divorce. As soon as he left and I found out that he was staying with somebody else and they were supposed to be in a relationship, I printed up the divorce papers myself. That's after I left her for the third time. All right, so this relationship definitely is in trouble. At what point did you find out she was with someone else? When I came back, we was under understanding that I was gonna come back and we was gonna work on our marriage. She told me that she was going to Atlanta for a job interview. I said, what job interview are you going to? And she named a couple jobs off and I said, okay. So me being me in that, in that conversation, when me and her got done talking, I got on the phone with my mother and I was like, she not going to no Atlanta for no job interview. She going to Atlanta to do what she was gonna do. But I told my mother, I was like, you know what? I was like, if we gonna start over, I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna be a man about the situation because I was just with somebody. I'm gonna let her go ahead and get it out of her system. So she goes to Atlanta. Me and, my, me and my other two boys, we went out, you know, dinner, movie, we out hanging out. She called me, I missed the call. Called her back, she didn't answer, I'm texting her. She was texting, but she not called. She said she in a job interview. It don't make no sense. Why are you texting me in a job interview but you can't pick your phone up? So when she didn't call back that night, I knew it was a problem. She didn't call back until the next day. Okay. And I was like, well, why you didn't, why you couldn't call me, Bob? Why you couldn't call me? She was like, well, we went out and my friend took my phone and she said, we out, so you don't need to be on the phone. I'm like, man, you married, you got kids, and what woman gonna tell you some trash like that? So once oh, she yeah. came I back, how did you find out that she had been sleeping with someone else? Well, I already knew she what she was going to do. I didn't have no proof, but I knew what she was going to do. Now, Is that what you were going to do, Ms. Thompson? I, I can't even lie about it. Yeah, it was. Now, that's the first time... That's the first time she admitted that. Well, that's what we do in this courtroom. We get to the truth. So now we know. So you were intimate with somebody else during that weekend because you... He, this was him coming off of being with somebody else, living with somebody else. Right, Your Honor. You did. Yes. And so when you came back, you all were supposed to clean the slate and be together. Right. right. Yes, sir. And then when do you find out you're pregnant? Hold on. She went back to Atlanta. Oh. Two weeks later. For a follow-up interview? Yeah, she said a second interview. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't want to leave nothing out because I don't want anybody to say... You know I know what? that's right. You go ahead and prove your case, Mr. So Thompson. Go ahead. go back to Atlanta a second time. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, once again, I know what you're going to do. So I was like, let me go ahead and let you go so I can compile me a little bit of evidence. So, in the, in the email, there's nothing in there. And the phone bills, there's one, one Atlanta phone number that keep popping up. And I researched the phone number, and it's coming back to a, a gentleman. So, when she finally called me, I'm like, okay, Toya, so what, what you out there doing? I was like, so I'm looking at the phone bill, and this one Atlanta keep, number keep popping up, and it's from a, a, a male. Uh, she was like, one of my friends. Yeah, it's a male. So, I was like, so that's who you out there with? She was like, nah. Now, mind you, I'm sitting on the couch with my kids watching TV. Every car they just driving by, they jumping up. Is that mom? Is that mom? They wait on her to come home. 
You know what I'm saying? I know what she out there doing, but I can't tell my kids that. Is this true? Yes, it's true, Your Honor, but he, he skips over all the stuff that he did. Besides the going back and forth all summer between me and the other girl and then moving all the way to Alabama with the girl and leaving me with the kids. But he want to talk about one time when he had the kids and they were looking for me. They were looking for you all the time. <laughs> And he failed to mention why he doing all, why he was doing all that research trying to figure out who I was talking to. He failed to tell anybody that he was engaged to this girl. What? While he was still married. And what? It's on, and it's on her Facebook, so he can't even lie about it. You asked another girl to marry you while you're still married to your wife? I did. <laughs> now see, he never admitted that. When I asked him about it, how can I be engaged? I'm still married. That's what he told yeah. me. Yeah. I mean, I still gonna say it, but I did. Mr. Thompson, obviously you needed more than 15 minutes of marriage counseling, so you understand that you can't ask somebody else to marry you when you're still married. It was, it was a lot going on. It was oh, this that time. is a lot. Mm-hmm. And so let's fast forward to the point when you found out you were pregnant with Micah. Who did you tell? The first person I told was the other guy. You did? Yes. The timeline and the way, the conception and everything, I was thinking it was the other guy because I wasn't with Marcus at the time. We had sex one time in that time frame. I don't know if it was the, before the first time she went to Atlanta or when she came back, but she said it was another time, but I don't know, I was drunk anyway, so I don't know which time it was. You gotta stop drinking. Man. Yeah, he do. We was on the phone talking. And uh, I guess we came to a conversation where we was like, hey, if we're gonna make this work, we gotta do, you know, we gotta, you know, work these out. She was like, well, you might not wanna be with me no more after I tell you this. I was like, Toy, I already know what it is. I was like, you pregnant. You know what I'm saying? She was like, yeah. Who's the baby daddy? She said, ah, right off jump, she said it was him. She said it was the other guy. Right off top. So she admitted it. Yeah. And now she's in court to prove that you are the biological father. Yeah, because. I'm, I'm, I'm only thinking that because he don't want nothing to do with her. Now, you've developed a relationship with Mike. Yeah. I've been there. You know, it was a struggle for me to even get her to let me come to a doctor's appointment. And she was just like, well, I didn't think you want to go because of the situation. I'm like, listen, man, at the end of the day, I'm a man before anything. And if I'm going to be that boy's father, I don't want to miss out on nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, it took... It took her a minute to let me go to the doctor's appointment, so I went to the doctor's appointments and stuff like that. Only to, I missed the birth of the baby because I was out of town for, for work. When I came back from out of town, I went straight to the hospital. You know, I went straight to the hospital. I was watching the baby. I was, you know, I was, you know, doing all type of things. You know, only thing I didn't do was sign the birth certificate. You didn't? No, ma'am. Because you had that doubt and it was substantiated by what your wife had told you. Yes, ma'am. That she believed it was the other gentleman's child. Yes, ma'am. But when he was... As he, got, as he got older, my features in Micah is starting to come out a little bit. You start seeing you, yourself. What is that? Yeah. This is a picture, a side-by-side -side picture of uh, me and Micah. Let me see that. Jerome, will you pass me that? So as I'm looking, as I'm looking everybody say we got the same, the Thank same you. nose, the same forehead. And, you know, they say as the, the older he get, they say we look alike. And he look like my, the more he, the bigger he gets, he look like my youngest son. Even, even my mother, when she came up to the hospital, she was like, are you sure he's not Marcus, baby? And I said, why you say that? And she was like, he looks just like him and the rest of the kids. And so now you're really confused. I would love for him to be my son, but I just, there's too much doubt. It is, it's, it's a lot going on. I'm ready for the results. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Thompson versus Pate Thompson, when it comes to four month old Micah Pate Thompson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Thompson, you are not the father.
I know that's not what you wanted to hear, sir. How are you feeling in this moment? I had already accepted the situation when I knew he wasn't, but is is to actually know he's not mad. It hurts a little bit more. The other dude don't want don't want nothing to do with him. But I, like I said, I can't let another child grow up without a father. Miss Thompson, I'm sure you were hoping that it was your husband's child. Yeah, sure. You can see that when you're not ready for marriage and to communicate how you need to, to in order to sustain a marriage. Things can go wrong, and you end up going outside of your marriage for comfort and companionship that you need to seek within your marriage. And Mr. Thompson, you know, when you speak so beautifully about not wanting another child to grow up without a father, I'm proud of you for saying that, because in that moment, you're putting yourself aside and you're focusing on Micah. The great thing is, is you're still married. So you still have a chance if both of you are willing to try to figure this out, but you have to do it together. We have counseling and resources for you both. Yes, I wish you the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. <laughs>